All right, so I have dusted everything out, and pardon me for the mic quality. Uh, I'm just not set up for this particular type of video right now, so for right now, I'll just use the onboard mic as the time being. But just to quickly show you, this is the HG Electromagnetic Dust Pad. And as you can see here, I've made quite a mess. Uh, I've been uh, sanding all these and carving all this just to prepare for my next video. But just to show you how this is capable of, this is a really neat item. So I've been using several sanding sticks, including the big one and the small ones. As you can see at the back of these sanding sticks, there's gonna be these white residues that you see. Uh, those are the plastic uh, particles that I have shaved off just for the detail up. And kind of the common problem that you see with these is that, you know, once you reuse them again, how do you clean this out so you can reuse it more and more? Normally when after people use their sanding stick, it's just throw it away. But as we want to save money and also utilize our equipment a little better, we're going to clean up all these. And essentially this is kind of how it looks like when I did the detail up, but just to show an example, I'll use this clean side to see how effective this is. So here's a sanding stick that I use and quite a lot of them. And all you gotta do is just rub it in or just sand it in as you go. And you could already tell that they've already collected all of the dust. Uh, just swivel it just one by one, just swipe it through. You could even kind of carve it through. <laughs> Any way you want, uh, just try to clean it off. And as you can see here, it's all clean. This is a very amazing tool so that you could clean the environment and also clean your equipment. So I'm gonna do a few more just to show you guys. Yeah, you can see, look at all this, all these dust that's just collecting. And the more you do it, the cleaner it gets. That's pretty cool. Not only you could use this for going to sandy sticks, but let's say for example you have a lot of these, uh, let's say you have all these like small uh, parts that you've carved through. Currently I do not, I, I put it all over here, but all you gotta do is really just swipe it across and you can see that some of them are already coming out. So the, those are two ways of you could like clean your workplace and if you guys are wondering, uh, won't these fall off? Currently they're not. Look at that, they're attached by the electromagnetic force to keep it all in place. This will be very useful, like for, let's say you have, you're, you're cleaning your cutting mat with all the residues and they all pick them all up. As you can see here, all of the salt scrap that was on the cutting mat, it's been collected. So the next thing is, next question is, how do you clean this? Well, two ways. One, you could just go to a well-ventilated area and just pat them out. Or you could use a vacuum cleaner. Now, I don't know if you could wash this with water, but for now, I wouldn't recommend doing that because it will lose its magnetic force. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go pop this out real quick and see how it looks like when it's clean. Ready? All right, that only took like five seconds to do, and look at that, it's clean. And for now, you could clean it, reuse it again, see it's picked up another one, and you'll be done. So this is this is highly recommended for you guys if you can like find it. Uh, I think this goes around 900 yen in Japanese, which is about nine bucks. But for me, I think this is a very good purchase, so. If you guys, if you guys are interested, check this product out. Uh, this was a very quick video of this review, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.